Well, Alexander Popov knows exactly what it takes to win the 100 metres race at the Olympics. He did so in 1992 and then four years later in Atlanta. And the Russian questions whether the missile has what it takes to deliver on swimming's biggest stage. You know, there is a simple explanation, whether you have it or you don't. He doesn't seem to have it. Because to be able to tolerate, to tolerate the pressure coming from the media in Australia in, in particular, to tolerate atmosphere, expectations from spectators, from coaches, from entourage, from everybody, you have to have strong nerves. If you can do it, you're on the top of the podium. If you can't do it, you can't sleep. You can't sleep a few days before the race. You're, you're thinking about this, you know, all the time, and you know, and and the 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 final result is that you're somewhere else on the podium, but not on the top. And um, uh, from what I witnessed in the swimming pool, that James was probably uh, was capable of producing much more and much better result. But I think his limitation is between his ears.